This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation, specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e-learning to instructor-led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. As we've been discussing, the Windows Server migration tools do uh, a great job of assisting administrative personnel as they try to migrate data and settings from servers running 2003 to servers running Windows Server 2008 R2. In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at some of the preceding steps to getting the Windows Server migration tools installed and getting ready to perform a file and print services migration. We'll start here on our uh, first machine. Now this is our machine that's running Server 2008 uh, R2 already. In fact, we'll, we'll go, into, um, go into Server Manager here just to take a look. This server uh, in preparation does have the print and document services role on it. Uh, file services have also been installed with uh, DFS. So DFS management has been installed on this machine, although a DFS namespace has not been, uh, has not been created. Okay? Now what we have to do is we really have to use two machines here. So I have a remote desktop window uh, to my other machine. Now this is the machine that is running Windows Server 2003 and here's where we're going to start. We're actually going to open up the command prompt on this because we need to run the DFS util command. This DFS util command is used to manage uh, the distributed file system. What we're going to use it for is to prepare the distributed file system so that it supports migration. Okay, so DFS util the name of the server is my server, so SVR1 and view. Okay, basically what this is doing is just viewing uh, the machine, or excuse me, viewing the uh, the namespaces. So we've got Contoso shared files there. All right. So now we're going to run the command again: dfsutil forward slash, and the root is Contoso, and the shared files. We'll go view on that, view that namespace. And so we can see that then within that namespace, we've got, uh, you know, that's the root name and target server. You've got a folder within there, uh, another folder. Uh, so a couple, couple of folders in the site that they're associated with. Basically, this is for documentation purposes. I'm going to write down that information. Okay. One more command here, dfsutil, and then root. We're going contoso shared files again, uh, only here it's going to be export to C backup config. Okay, so we are exporting the DFS configuration to a folder on the C drive called uh, backup config, or a file, excuse me, on the C drive called uh, backup config. All right, so all those steps really just to prepare uh, the the uh, distributed file services for migration. Now the next step that we're going to have is going back into Server Manager. Now we're back on our R2 machine and we're going to go to Features and we're going to add uh, Windows Features. All right, we're going to scroll down and find uh, the Windows Server Migration Tools. We're just going to perform that installation of Windows Server Migration Tools. Uh, just a, a fairly a fairly simple install. Okay, now this will install the uh, migration tools on this system, but really part of the migration process and utilizing these utilities is to also then get them deployed on the other system, the system that is running Windows Server 2003. Uh, we have to perform this step first because then we're going to go and create a deployment package uh, to install on the Windows Server 2003 machine so that we can then begin the process of file services migration. Now that the migration tool wizard is complete, we're going to go ahead and hit close, okay? And then we are ready to uh, create uh, that deployment package, okay? So we're actually going to open up the 
uh, command prompt. You don't have to necessarily do all of this from the command prompt, but we're just going to make a directory called uh, migration. Okay, so then we've, we've got the, the migration uh, directory there. And we're going to change directory over to uh, the Windows directory. Uh, System32, you're going to have a migration uh, tools, or excuse me, server migration tools folder that was created. Okay? Within that folder is your smigrationdeploy.exe. Okay, so, and that's the uh, utility here that we are going to uh, use, smigdeploy.exe. We're going to create a package. I'm going to use the architecture uh, parameter. The architecture is going to be x86. The OS parameter, or Windows Server 2003. And then the path is that migration folder on the C drive. Okay, so it checks prerequisites, says it's copying the migration tools to that location. It was created successfully. That's why we needed to make sure it was there. Okay, so then that the step has been uh, performed. We can actually go validate that they are uh, there. All right, we've got this directory over here, and there are uh, some files in there for us to be able to deploy it now to the other server. Let's minimize these. We'll switch back over to our Windows Server 2003 folder, and we're just going to connect to that. So NYC dash SRV2, whoops, dash SRV2 slash C dollar migration folder. Oh, something's wrong there. Just connect to C dollar. Maybe I've got it uh, spelled wrong there. SVR. Yeah, that was it. SVR instead of SRV. Okay, so the migration folder. And then we uh, go here and we are just running the smigrationdeploy.exe uh, utility. Okay, that is simply going to install uh, those install those tools on this local machine. We don't really get a whole lot of uh, indication as to whether or not it was actually successful, uh, but it's a very quick install. There's really not a whole lot uh, to install on the machine. Okay, so the first part was just some preparatory work with DFS, making sure we understood what namespaces we had to migrate, and then installing the migration tools on the destination server, using that to create a package to install it on a, the source server. And now we've prepared and we're ready to actually perform a file services migration. And we'll talk about that and then do that in an upcoming demonstration.